Hey there, hope everyone's doing great. And today we are in the gazelle. We're going to be doing some uh, air to ground with two different types of gazelles the M and the L version. Right now we are in the M and we're going to be firing it up. So let's get the startup procedure going. Turn on the magnetic switches, the sand filter, battery alternator, generator, starter switch, the trims, the master, pilot switch, turning on the countermeasures, turning on the uh, targeting TV over here, designator, opening up the missile and lasing uh, button covers so I can laze fire targets in a bit. Got my RWR turned on. Resetting the horizon. And we should be introducing throttle here in a second. Or uh, throttle, we should hit fuel, whatever. There we go. This one's pretty cool because you can actually see a little dude, his hands and feet. Alright. So once the uh, the mutals marry at the top, top of the green, we're ready for takeoff. bit of right pedal, some half cyclic. There we go, we're off the ground. Alright. Break ETL. Neutralize the pedals and then we're in forward flight. So we're going to be wanting to head about 270 toward these red dots straight ahead. You can do some crazy stuff in this thing. not quite conducive to a real gazelle, I don't think, but uh, it's fun to do nonetheless. You can do the backflips too. This one does have countermeasures. Alright, to use the HOT 3 missiles on the Gazelle M version, you have to be in the co pilot seat, so you press 2 to get there, and then you have to turn the VCB mode selector from a slave to a manned, so you can manually maneuver it and lock onto a target. At that point, you can switch from FLIR to TV mode. And we should be, uh, we can use this cursor right here to zoom in and out and find a target easier and the only way to actually get them is to make sure that you're in range between 2.5 uh, miles and closer you can't shoot beyond that range the first step would be to make sure that you have the master arm on the second step would be to ensure that this is on Band. Third step would be to find the target, which we're still working on doing here. Alright, 
think we found one. Okay. It's pretty hard to see, but he's right there. So you put that in the center of the crosshairs. Make sure that you're in 2.5 nautical miles. So I'm just going to get it real close just to verify that he's in range. Once he's got him in range, make sure that your missile and your laser buttons are uncovered. You need to select the uh, test switch to on. Make sure that you keep the target locked in place. Once you're within 2.5 miles, just uh, go into an auto hover. I think this is 2.5 miles, I'm not sure. We're going to find out. So you go into an auto hover, you salute the helicopter's nose to the target. Do some final adjustments to make sure you're locked on pr properly. Fire the laser, select the missile, and fire the missile. You don't have to hold the laser, just tap it. And that's a shack we got one. So now I can zoom out, try to find one close by. This looks like there's one a little to the right. There we go. He should be in range. This is pretty close to the other. So you just go down here, select the missile, fire the laser, fire the missile. You can only fire the missile from the co-pilot seat. So if he gets shot during combat, then better return to base. Got that one too. And you just repeat the process. And you can actually, you don't have to be locked onto the target to fire and hit the target. Like, for example, I'm clearly not locked onto the target. If I aim to the target, it will slew the missile midair and make sure that it lands to the latest uh, slew point. <laughs> oh, it's pretty dark down here. Okay. All right, here we are, taking off in the L version. See, we got the cannon right here instead of the missiles. All right, let's go. Notice also in the L version we've got this right here, which is what we use to target. And you can turn it on and off by turning the master arm switch on and off. Okay, so here we are in the L version. With this version, you don't need to use the co-pilot seat to fire any weapons. You do it all from the pilot seat. And you will also use this to designate targets, just do it visually, not with, that, with a sensor. So the steps are to make sure you have to master arm switch on, and you also need to come down here and choose which uh, pylon you're going to be firing from. In this case, I'm choosing the cannons. So we're going to fire off some cannons at this guy from a long distance, and then when we get close, we're trying to finish those off with uh, a couple rockets. Gotta aim a little higher. He's shooting back at me now. Alright, got that one. Yeah, he's definitely shooting at me.
I use rockets against this guy. Oh no, he just shot the helicopter. We are going down. <laughs> See what happened? Oh jeez. He must have shot off the tail rotor. Well, that happens sometimes, but... There you go, that's how you employ the uh, two types of models, the L and the M. Uh, big as hell. That's pretty fun.